Hey guys, it's Stormboy13 here, and uh, it's Sunday, as you know, as you know it's Sundays, it's weather for the week ahead time, and uh, for quite a few people in the East Midlands, or I think it's in Leicester, I think, in some places, but whatever, um, it's half term week, and hopefully what we can expect for half term, a few days of decent dry weather. Well actually, good news, yeah, the weather is looking... Mostly dry this week. It's going to be a mostly, again, another very quiet week ahead. Winds, a little, bit, a little bit breezy, but it's not exceptionally strong for the time of the year. It's been quite a really calm autumn. Um, again, not much rain. Um, temperatures maybe a little higher, but um, near average pretty much throughout the week. So let's go through today's weather. Bit of a chilly day today. I mean, a lot of cloud around, but there is a few bright sunny spells um, pretty much throughout the morning and possibly into the afternoon as well. And uh, temperatures, well, a little low for October. Highs of around 11 degrees Celsius. If the sun is out, out of the breeze, shouldn't feel too bad. Overnight, we shouldn't expect a frost. There will be a lot of cloud around during the overnight hours. Maybe a few limited clear spells at its um, best. And temperatures wouldn't really drop too low with lows of around 8 degrees Celsius. So... So let's go through Monday. Now, Monday tomorrow, um, yep, the sun's out now. So for Monday's weather, we should see, again, not really much change, to be honest. A lot of cloud around. There will be a few sunny to lose. There is a small chance for isolated shower, but most places will be dry. And temperatures, again, similar to what they were today, with highs of around 11, maybe 12 degrees Celsius for Monday. And again on Tuesday, spot the difference. A lot of cloud around. We might see a few sunny interludes around as we go into the course of the day. Small risk of a shower once again. And uh, temperatures, again, 11, possibly 12 degrees Celsius for Tuesday. Wednesday, I mean the winds may change direction slightly. So instead of coming in from the easterly, it'll be more of a way of coming from the westerly. Not really changing the weather too much though. Again, a lot of cloud initially. Maybe some mist or fog early to start the day. Should burn away. We will see some sunny spells. Temperatures may be a little higher. Maybe 14 degrees Celsius on Wednesday. And again on Thursday, not a lot of change. We might see a bit of a misty start to Thursday morning. Again, that should burn away. We will see some sunny spells coming out later on today. Not today, that day. And temperatures, again, will spawn nicely. 13, 14. 14 degrees Celsius after a chilly start. Always a bit of un so uncertainty by the end of the week, and it's really uncertain on Friday. But I think it will likely to stay dry. A little bit of uncertainty about how much sunshine we'll get or how much cloud we will get. And temperatures probably the same. 13 Celsius with probably sunny intervals. So there's not really much to say for the week ahead once again. And then for the six to ten day long range outlook, the, the, the likely is the likely scenario is the high pressure will be lingering on in our country. So it's going to be. A very dry October indeed, so it's going to be a very dry end to the month as well. I mean, there is, a, again, we're not sure whether how much sunshine we will get, but there will be hopefully some sunny spells at times. It's just a hint that maybe by the time we may even approach early November, is that we may start to see winds possibly coming from the northwesterly. We may see more sunshine, but temperatures could just be that little bit lower with the risk of some overnight frost. But it's a long way off, and I'll update you again next week. So that's really, that's about it, really. Another, um, quite a week for some people for October half term, but at least that's a good thing though. Now, um, two questions, uh, didn't have any comments this week so we'll go through them. So for Monday's weather vlog, which was about fog droplets, the question of the vlog was, on average how many foggy days does San Francisco have in a year? The answer was 108, so, and for Wednesday's weather vlog, which was about facts about F5 tornadoes, again I didn't get a comment from that, is how many F5 tornadoes was there in the United States in 2011? There were six F5 tornadoes, I know. In fact, there's some years I didn't even get any F5 tornadoes at all, so that was quite a deadly year for the USA. So there you go, guys. Um, one weather vlog this week is on Tuesday, and it's going to be called Supercell Storms in the UK. Very good question for you. Hopefully I can get a comment on there, or if not to. Uh, the question to Tuesday's weather vlog, and you'll find out in a week's time, is um, on Thursday the 28th of June 2012, when we had some severe thunderstorms across the UK, how many millimetres was the wettest place in the UK on that day? So there you go, a great question. So comment below and you'll find out in a week's time. And also before I go, um, I haven't had any comments yet or requests about which city I should do for Thursday's weather forecast. So if you haven't commented yet, please comment below. Otherwise, it will be Birmingham, UK for the second week. So if you want it to be different, then you know what to do, guys. All right. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy your day. The storm is now out.